Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. And today we're on the test server. And you guys, I've got a lot of comments asking for this, but we are gonna finally do it then. You guys want it? So here it is. We're gonna do a Queen Eva showcase with her buffs. Uh, oh, actually need to buck her up. Good thing I checked this and didn't forget. Uh, her A3, all of the damage on her skills has been upped. This is now, just does more damage, but it's an AOE. Decreases turn meter and resets all of her skills if she kills anyone, which is cool. Her A2, this got the biggest buff by far. Double hit, ignores 50% defense, 15% extra chance to crit. They added that ability, extra chance to crit, to both her A1 and A2. It was only on her A3 before, so now we can build her with 85% crit rate. I have her with 84% because we're living dangerous. Um, <laughs> it's hard to build champs that the optimizer on the test server, okay? Uh, but this blocks revive, so this will hit super hard. I mean, it's a double hitter. Ultimate Death Knight can only block one hit. This will do huge damage, you know. Think about Sun Wukong's A2. Think about Baron Sky Piercer, right? 50% ignore defense absolutely claps because we are going to stack that. Obviously, with lethal, 5% ignore defense. Cruel, for a bit more consistency, 5%. And then, of course, Helm Smasher for the other 25%. So Cruel's a bit overkill if Helm Smasher happens, but Cruel will massively actually up the damage of her A1 and A3. Like, Ignore Defense is so powerful. It gives you so much damage. Uh, that's why you'll notice when you're fighting Harima, who halves your Ignore Defense effects, that you're doing, like, one-third of the damage that you normally do. Like, that's how strong it is. But yeah, she's got an AoE on a long cooldown, but it's powerful. Double hit, that can block Revive. And her A1 can do heal reduction and block buffs. That's not going to be too useful, but uh, it is there. Let's book her up before we forget. Uh, if only I had this many books on my actual account, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Well, actually, maybe not. I've got, I'm pretty sure I've got more mythical tomes than this, although I've got so many mythical tomes that I haven't got, <laughs> haven't got a gosh darn mythical. It's very depressing. Uh, if only I put in six books the first time, we would have been done in one. So yeah, let's take her first spin. We've got no blessing, sadly, which is a bummer. Uh, I think we've got a good chunk of faction guardians here. We're just missing the speed. Um, I should show you the stats, actually. For her so let's take a little gander i want to see if she can do nightmare campaign i'm curious we have her fast with 250 speed 7k attack uh one percent low on the crit rate you want 85 and 273 percent crit damage i think it's a fairly solid build she's got huge base attack so it's quite easy to crank this high so it's pretty good without blessings i would prefer i don't have any i would much prefer to have her in four piece stone skin so do four piece lethal four piece stone skin that would be ideal so that you're like, all right, I'll live through the first turn, even if you're faster, and I have a chance to block revive your nuker, and maybe win because of that. That would be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Oh my, I was putting us into, oh wow, test test server. <laughs> test server, all right. Well, first of all, she is insanely fast for this. So let's see if we can find her. And she does have an aura as well. So actually, the slight bits of missing crit rate we've got isn't going to matter. I don't know. Let's put in. This is really fast why they've used the filter. Great. There we go. Let's put her in. Why is she so good for this? It's because her animation is really fast. Now, sadly, uh, we are not running on limited frames per second. So we're not going to get maximum speed. Uh, so you could be faster than this. Um, but there we go. Seven seconds. She can go. I think if you do unlimited frames per second and you're not like recording like I am, you could probably get it down to five. She's she's very, very quick. Uh, maybe Fellhound actually is a bit faster, but she's very, very quick. Uh, farmer let's see if she can do nightmare on nightmare you want to do 12-6 because it's easier oh probably not actually we've got magic affinity guys right let's see can she do 12-3 i i genuinely i'm not expecting this to work but i'm curious she actually has to kill things with her you see that's the problem you'd need more stats she actually has to kill things to get the cooldown reset i think if she had enough damage to kill something it would be okay yeah this is obviously not good so maybe for nightmare campaign but you'd need a lot of stats like there she gets a kill great here if she got it now again if you were strong enough to kill one of them you wouldn't have to kill all of them you could get two hits in but yeah so nightmare campaign no it doesn't look like that's easy to do i mean you can easily farm it with other champions without that uh that much investment let's throw her in here um i think we'll put her in i sold my ronda gear for her basically Although I've actually taken gear off of Rhonda on the live servers because I haven't been using Rhonda as much. But I think she is 
similarly useful. Her A2 is definitely going to be the big thing, right? So let's put her in. We can even try a couple of different teams. Let's fight a few different teams and see. For me, the problem with these attack nukers is I do struggle to keep them alive. You know, for instance, having a Duchess who can put them under Veil, like Duchess with a lockout. Okay, great. I can lock them out. Enemies will A1 the Duchess. She can live. A Necret the Great. I've got a six-star soul. We pulled that recently, but sadly, I'm missing the Necret himself. So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, so let's actually do two things here. We'll lock them out. Oh, she resisted. Uh, let's see her AoE, first of all. They do have a Lissandra, which is damage reduction. Uh, not a Lissandra. They've got an Ursiga, which is damage reduction. Um, I know they might have reaction. So let's see her A3. This shouldn't hit too hard. Yeah, like, it's it's not great. For A3, for AoE, it's not great. I think you want to really be prioritizing. Uh, I mean, he's a tanky team. Don't get me wrong. I think you do want to prioritize her A2, which is also going to be nice for farming certain, uh, like Tag Arena, for instance. If you throw her into a tag team, it's going to work pretty well. I think we should have presets set up. Let's find out. There we go. We'll lock them out. So here we'd probably rather do her A2. I mean, let's see if we can kill. Does it matter? Let's kill her, maybe. Not reaction, double reaction, in fact. That's unfortunate. But let's see if we get a second turn. We soften them up. Actually, look at that. We did a ton of damage to Ursiga. That's actually funny. Lots of damage to the Ursiga because she's redirecting the crit damage. She's reducing what we do. Uh, I think I think that's what happened. See if we can reduce their stuff. Eva's going to die. We'll have to bring her back. That's okay. We'll bring her back. Okay. And let's go. Hard to keep her alive. I mean, she's she's hella squishy. That's, that's sort of the big problem for later game play. She, she's super squishy, and there's, there's no way around it. She, she just is. It's, it's not easy to keep her alive without these more dedicated supports. Elva's not bad because she puts her into Veil. Vale. So here there's a decent chance we kill... Wow, that's a tanky Kandrafon. Kandrafon actually surviving. I'm going to be honest, so far not very impressed. <laughs> so far all she's doing is uh, not killing people and getting beat up. Let's see if we can get a Hex out. That will help a little bit for the Petrifies and whatnot. She is under Veil, which is nice. It's no Duchess, but it's close to try protect her. Let's see if we can strip off even more of their buffs. There we go. Lovely. Uh, smack a Duchess. Are we back to... Okay, we're back to her, to her thing. So again, Here's the nice thing, is I can just go, okay, bang. 90k. Well, that hit hard. Um, and fight's won. I mean, this is the great thing. Block revive. The fight is won. Um... Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, I, I, I'm not. I do think she hits harder than Anethway. Anethway's void. That's an advantage. I think she hits harder than him though, which is a pretty big deal. Mezamel, I would prefer, but I, I think she's not too bad. We should actually set up the preset so that she'll do her A two. Um, they've got ally protection, so they'll be hard to kill. Let's see if we can delete the Ursiga Ancient Curse. Holy. Moly, yeah, she definitely hits harder than <laughs> that. Actually, hits super hard. Holy heck, that's a double hit. One hit was enough. I guess you know, Warmaster proccing or not is a massive swing. But that's super strong. She's the same affinity as more to Macab. He needs to be hit to proc his thing. It's a bit awkward. Um, she does need. This is why I say lethal with Stone Skin would be ideal because even her A one hits pretty hard. Um, she does. Struggle, right? You're gonna need the lethal to do the maximum damage, I think. Like, especially if you're against tanky enemies. If you're against earlier game people, I mean, we're overkilling these dudes, right? You could maybe run her six piece stone skin and just have a dedicated, just have her block revive. I mean, she'll kill the squishies. For live arena, there, there's only the top end damage dealers. Like, she's never gonna kill Harima like that. Oh man, her AoE sucks though. <laughs> the AoE sucks. But yeah, you're not gonna kill Harima or Taris, but. You'd want lethal for that sort of thing. But against a typical nuker, like non-S tier nukers in arena, yeah, she's going to wreck him. Like 150k. Yes, that's a lot of damage against that plus four Duquesa. Um, let's see against this. Can she kill? Uh, she doesn't, doesn't hit through shields. This would be interesting. Can she kill? Oh, well, she's not going to... She can't hit through stone skin either, can she? Uh... We could attempt to strip the stones. <laughs> seems seems uh, like a bad idea. I don't know. I'm not actually sure what to do in this situation. Um, and here, her block revive isn't that useful. None of them can be can revive anyway. 
Uh, I suspect we probably want to uh, let's see if we can kill off her. Holy moly, that's a lot of damage. All right, we'll take that. Uh, let's just A1 him. Let's see if we can kill him. This is going to hurt. Wait, we didn't do... Uh, wait, oh, we locked him out. He couldn't do his ally attack. Derp, derp. Uh, well, whenever he gets a turn, it's going to hurt. Let's put it like that. Let's put Hex onto this guy, because we can. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to use the Arbiter of Five. We might get another turn here. Um, let's see how hard we hit him. <laughs> okay, the heal return. We just proc Polymorph, and it redirected. Oh, boy, that's... That's a lot of damage, though. Don't hit him again. He he keeps doing his nonsense. Just a, a one, please. Let's be careful. Man, even the even the the Mithrala hits hard at this point. Okay, I, I'm very nervous about our ability to. I'm I'm thinking might just kill Arbiter, so we're definitely in some trouble. Um, Right, we can cleanse that off, which is nice. She sadly doesn't have her ability back. I don't want to AoE because he might kill me. That's close. Get some turn meter on her. We can boost up, but I think he's going to hit us and kill us. Most likely. Unless we're fast enough for a turn. No, we're certainly not. Um, get Eva up, though. I, I believe. I believe in the Eva. Here we go. Cupid is very dead. I'm, I mean, her A2 hits hard, guys. It hits really hard. Her A3 still sucks. Gosh, that's, it, it still sucks. But that A2. Yep, that A. Let's do another fight after this. I, she's super viable. Um, again, preferably the four-piece stone skin, four-piece lethal for max damage and just guarantee, unless you're locked out, of course. But, you know, you can play around. It could be very versatile for Live Arena. It's certainly a, she's a decent option. Um, definitely a decent option. A little awkward to build a team around it, but it's decent. Uh, we would struggle here. Maybe that's not, she'd be bad against magic affinity. Um, are there any Wukongs? Okay, here we go. Here's a Wukong. Let's go in. I, you definitely want her. Like, Ancient Curse is so much better. Uh, she can priority to this. Sure. Um, Go. Let's see. Can she kill Ultimate Death Knight? Uh, not Ultimate. Can she kill Wukong even when protected by Ultimate Death Knight? That's a useful thing. Uh, we do need to... Ooh, good thing he did his A2. Some shenanigans happening there. 100k. Absolutely. Goodbye, Sun Wukong. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. She's definitely useful. She's definitely useful for people. It's, it's an easy-to-activate block revive. Um... Yep, yeah, easy to activate. Simple as. Simple as that. Point and click, basically. Double hitter. That's a disadvantage with Vulcanen. Vulcanen is nice, but it's a, it's only a one hit. So Vulcanen is hard cooked by an ultimate death knight. I mean, she just block revived a duchess. She hit duchess 100k right past that UDK. Yeah, she's, she's a lot. Yeah, okay. Honestly, thoughts on Queen Eva? Niche. She is niche. Because... Let's be real, her, her AoE's garbage. It's really bad. Like, she's barely making a dent in these guys. It's all about that A2. Her A2 is honestly extremely good. Nice thing is, she'll farm Brutal Campaign for you pretty fast. I mean, if that's useful, she'll do it. Um, let's see, do we outspeed Deadwood, or is he faster than that? Probably he's faster. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think about Eva? What do you guys think? I, uh-oh. 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 That's not good. That's not good. She is definitely not good in this situation. Oh, maybe we push him back. Maybe she kills him with a name. Nope, she's asleep. Nope, she's really asleep. Oh, God. oh, we're all dead. Oh, well, that's... All right, let's not, let's not end on that different fight. You, uh, you saw nothing. Outsped and slammed into the dirt. You hate to see it. Uh, that would be an outsped as well. Oh, it's Bronco. Uh, actually, yeah, probably, probably is... Yeah, probably be outsped. Um... Probably be outsped. Plus three, six star Arbiter. Yeah, that's not that's not going to work, is it? Um, uh, let's try YST. YST is a slow boy, probably. Uh, but yeah, what do you guys think of Eva? I think she she's definitely, she's not like, she's not an S tier nuker, but she's she. it's hard to rank her because of the niche, the nicheness. Because of the nicheness. Who's she going to kill? That one. All right, cool. And they're dead. A1's okay. But yeah, it's really all about the A2. 
Yeah. So simple enough. You'd use her in some fights. Very good against the Sun Wukong. Again, if you're struggling against those Sun Wukong Ultimate Death Knight defenses in like Tag Arena or Classic Arena, I mean, the class, it'll still take a while. You got to wait for the Ultimate Death Knight stuff to drop, but you can absolutely kill both of them at the same time. And that's pretty useful. Here she goes. She. She didn't. Did she not kill someone with her? I thought we told her to do her A3 and she'd get a reset. She must not. I wasn't paying attention. I thought she'd have her A3 into her A2. I was talking. But yeah. Bonk. That A2 is disgusting. Right. I'll see you all next time, everyone. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.